Okay, so here we are ready for our meditation. In my world, over three hours has gone by. I laid down and majorly crashed. So I got really sleepy after pulling the cards and getting those meditations and needed to sleep. And this is similar to what it was for me, like what it was like for me yesterday. Uh, so anyway, let's get into our meditation. I am really excited for this uh, connection here today. And just a reminder, this is a uh, meditation to be done in the seated position. I'm going to move my cat scratcher so my cat stops with that. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> a seated position. And hopefully you have your candles going or at least a candle. It's good to have more than one, but if you just have one, that's fine. I use tea lights that I get on Amazon. They work out to about 10 cents a piece. So it's a really good deal. And they last for like six hours and I'll light them multiple times blow them out so um, if you're someone who does divination like we were just talking about here with this divination card working with cards if even if, it, if it's for yourself and not anybody else um, having candles going really clears the energy around you acts like a conduit for the incoming energies, the incoming information. Uh, and that it's just that element of fire just really clears things out. Also, you can take a look at how your flame is moving. If your flame is super still, that is an indication that the air around you, the energy around you, I should say, is very calm. If you have a candle that's whipping all around and there's no source of air that should be moving it like that, that's an indication that you have um, more dense energy around you and that it needs to be cleared. Um, <clears throat> to various degrees. Okay, so with that said, um, hopefully you can hear my music. I don't like to have it too loud, like I said earlier. Uh, oh, but I do like to have, I'm like, why does it sound so different? I do like to have it on my Bluetooth. So let's just do that <laughs> for a second. There we go. Much better sound. All right, lovelies. Let's get this going. Whew. So, <clears throat> feet either flat on the floor or uh, if you're sitting cross-legged, make sure that you have some type of bolster, some type of support underneath you. And this will help so your lower back doesn't get strained. So if your butt, if your knees are lower than your butt and your hips, basically, um, is the most comfortable position to be in in the cross-legged position. Okay. No laying down unless you absolutely have to. Um, and then just make sure that your spine is straight and that your head isn't too far tilted up. Like you're not too much on an incline and you're more flat if possible. Want to welcome in our guides and guardians. First and foremost, our guardian angels. 
So whatever way that you want to address your guardian angel, if you're really connected and you know who they who they are as far as the their name you can you know just say hello to them by name or just say hello guardian angel or or um any any which way you want to address them but it's good here i'm just feeling this real pull to uh address them first here our guardian angels and again being pointed to that meditation from valentine's day body love and meet your guardian angel okay and again another reminder here if you have not done the solstice meditation uh, you might want to consider doing that one before this one, or if you're really pulled to do this one, then, and then do that one. Just make sure that you do it. So, guardian angels, miracle angels, healing angels, so welcome in your most close angel team again guardian angels miracle angels and our healing angel And when I call them in, I see them coming through to me in this uh, triangle formation. And however you see that for yourself, opening up my eyes to see it is 4.44 p.m. here in the Pacific fours together like that representing angel connections so kind of funny here really feeling that and then see that formation <coughs> excuse me <coughs> okay much better and then see that formation, like one of them at like right ahead of you and then uh, or in front of you, I should say, and then the other two to your left and to your right. And then see them starting to go counterclockwise around you in a formation, keeping their their pace and their distance. Nothing too wild and crazy. They're just kind of. Uh, circling around you, creating a really divine space. And then just see this start as they're moving around you. Just see this like a tube of light starting to form or a cocoon of light around you. Light going up all up straight up. And out in every direction. So there's just light around you. really feel into that just this energy moving around you your guardian your miracle and your healing angels moving around you pushing everything else out creating this warm space of love and support on the inside And then, <coughs> excuse me again. Oh, my third eye is really starting to get activated. So hopefully this won't continue. <sighs> oh, 
Okay, so this warm space within that that cocoon. And I, I'm not calling it a bubble because it doesn't feel like a bubble. It's just, it's more like it's just elongated and it goes straight up. And the energy and the light, if you look up, it goes straight up. And it's just so, it's so, so bright. But at the same time, it, it doesn't hurt your eyes to look at it. It just drowns out everything outside of it. So it's like anything else but you and this light that's coming from your miracle guardian. I'm sorry. Yeah, your mir miracle guardian and healing angels. And then just start to see the energy permeating from that this like vortex of energy around you and see it starting to like fizz and uh, it, it looks effervescent and it starts to kind of pull up closer to you with this like little specks, <clears throat> specks of energy coming at you. So you're pulling in this energy from the angelics. Just these little particles, these little teeny tiny particles. It's like they're just floating towards you. And as they come to you, you just absorb them into your field. If you want to see that, like it's around you or if it's directly on your skin, whichever feels right and makes sense to you. So just do that here for a minute. I'm seeing us just be in this light. Just be in this light coming from your guardian miracle and healing angels. And just feel that connection, that love, that support, that energy. That infinite love light energy that comes from any and all angelics. And you're really meant to feel this energy as much as you can in your wake state, in your day to day time. So to feel it here and really kind of connect to it, tap into it. And more light, just see it getting even brighter. And what I'm seeing here now is kind of a uh, satellite up outside of yourself and imagine all of the other people that will be doing this meditation on some level connected energetically whether some of those people are your soul family people that you're meant to know either energetically or in the in the 3d world and anybody outside of this outside of this group of people but what i'm seeing here and now is just like if you satellite up and to see it looks like one, at least six to ten rows, um, so of of souls, and then there are angels around them, creating this this chamber of light. But it's like everybody's just sitting next to each other. Like imagine in a classroom. Like if everybody was just in a classroom and they were like five, six feet apart or more. Maybe even ten feet, of, 
10 feet apart and they had their own little chamber of light going on where it's getting really, really intense and light is going straight up and everybody is just sitting down next to each other. But I see nothing except for it's dark and then everybody's like kind of floating there even, floating there with their um, their angelics being all around them and that energy coming in uh, into that field and just soaking that up and this is to help us to release any densities negative energies um, I'm hearing see it like a detoxifier to detoxify your field and all of your energy bodies. So it's like absorbing particles of the highest vibration of light that's going to come in and help to recalibrate your bodies the flow of your chakras. So just take a minute here to tap in and see your chakras like little balls of light. I would say smaller than like a big grape. <clears throat> and and just tap in all, all of the, your main um, six chakras in your body. So your root, your sacral, your solar plexus, your heart chakra, your throat chakra, and your third eye. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and indigo. And let's just tap in and see yourself from the outside from either that high perspective where you can see a bunch of people all sitting next to each other or just yourself whatever feels right to you right now but then see the 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 different energy centers and their corresponding energy and as the the radiance, the energy, the infinite love light energy is coming in from all around you, going to the respective places around your body. See it connecting with those chakras as the chakras themselves start to get bigger. <clears throat> So from your root and red chakra, see how the particles are being drawn to that area. And as they're being drawn to that area, the body, the um, energy center of your root chakra is absorbing that in and it's getting brighter. And same thing happening at the sacral and the solar and the heart and the throat and the third eye. So just allow for this to happen. Feel it happening. Tell the body to receive this energy to help uh, release dense negative energies within the body and around the body to help calibrate the physical, the energetic, the spiritual, the emotional, and the etheric bodies, this incoming energy that you're absorbing. And now think of your, your sacral. Think of your sacral just bringing in that light and just letting go of densities. And when negative energy leaves the body, it's like flashes of light. There's no darkness there. It's just flashes of light as that energy is released from the body. So if you see any bright specks different than just the, the overall light, 
That's what that is. And just tell the body to release as you're receiving through that mantra. I release, I receive, I remember, I rise. I release, I receive, I release, I receive. Just those two. I release, I receive. And focus on the solar plexus doing the same thing. Just bringing in that light, releasing energy, helping to calibrate. And with the heart, the heart chakra, opening up the heart chakra, feeling that energy through the shoulders, arms, back, and wings. So your shoulder blades open up the energy there and just let the energy go out your energetic wings. Expanding and then receiving that energy into the heart chakra and to all the organs and all the bodies corresponding. The heart chakra is one of two, the other one being the third eye that are ever growing and expanding, getting bigger and stronger. And you need to work accordingly with that energy or else the physical body will be in pain, distress, uncomfortable. Um, generally speaking, pain in the upper back is usually, or in the shoulders, is usually what people feel. But it could be tightness in the chest as well. Pain actually in, it feels like your heart, like your heart or your lungs or somewhere in there is just really painful. And that's just because the energy of the heart chakra is expanding, but it's like tr literally trapped in the body and it's super uncomfortable. So once you re start to release that energy through your arms and your hands and your fingers, and then through your back as it's ever expanding, building on the capacity for self-love, universal and unconditional love for yourself and all around you, this energy center will just continue to get bigger and bigger. As with it, so your abilities, all your psychic abilities, healing abilities, abilities of connection in all the various ways will also grow as well. Because like I said, the, the, the heart and the third eye are connected. Those two, as far as those two being, I mean, they're all connected, obviously, but those two being the ones that will continue to grow and get stronger and bigger and have more and more capacity to, to be open. So they're never like done being open. So <clears throat> it's good to think of yourself like your, your heart and your third eye chakras. You're just always continuing to grow and to open and you're never done. You're never finished. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so bringing that energy into that understanding of opening up and just continuing to open up and let those channels of energy right there at your shoulder blades. I like to see that, see that as a zipper, just unzip that area and just let it be open and let your heart chakra do what it's going to naturally do. You really don't have to do anything. Um, but just visualize it being open, visualize your palms being open, your fingertips being open, and just letting that energy flow through you and out of you without thinking about it. And really feel into your sacral now. See it getting bigger and lighting up and soaking in that energy, letting dense energy go. And 
and then with your throat see the body lighting up through that energy center blue and letting densities go as you bring in the energies into your field into your body and let that soak in Just bringing in this energy from head to toe, getting up into the third eye now. And with this, <laughs> they're showing me like, see yourself making like a, a shower, like a, yeah, like a shower cap or a swim cap where the energy coming in is just going to come all the way around your head like a, like a, yeah, like a swim cap or a shower cap over your entire head so see that light coming in and little particles just coming in all around and holding the formation around your head so it starts like right at the base of your of your neck goes all the way around your head and they're saying except for make sure that we're covering our ears at the same time so keep get your ears in that whole area that's getting covered with this light it's like this helmet of light coming on and then that energy see it permeating down through your body connecting through your spinal column all the way down to every other chakra and just creating this line of light from the top of your head down your spinal column and as it does connecting lighting up with each energy center all the way down to the root just one after the other throat to heart heart to solar solar to sacral and sacral to root lighting everything up and feeling that through your entire body all through your legs your feet your toes And again, I release and I receive. I release and I receive. And now I'm being told really tap in with the moon, the super full moon. We're close. We're as close as we're going to be to our moon for the rest of the year. So it's something to really think about. To feel in and receive this energy meant to illuminate us. Meant to inspire us to love ourselves more than ever. To surrender to the process to really feel that we have the support of our, our angelics. Our individual angelics that are always with us. These guardian angels, miracle angels, and healing angels that just want the best for us. And everyone else in our spirit tribe, every other soul, ascended master, archangel that um, we are connected to. Our own um, ancestors, friends, and family. Not just from this lifetime, but our soul's entire story and in every incarnation no matter where it's been and what we've been we're connected to to every single layer of our story so to really open up to all of that divine and beautiful pure love and support And just know that this is can be super 
rich and vast and potent energy when you think about all of the souls that you are connected to the divine beings and who support you in your life So I'm really hearing from Gaia that this full moon um, is really coming in to help us connect with our guidance better than ever, to stop holding back, to stop holding back, to, to make decisions that are, they're saying, big decisions, big choices, big new shifts in your timeline. And to be open up to big information coming and that you have the strength, the love and support to assimilate to these changes, to this guidance, to whatever is coming in. They're reminding me, they're showing and pointing me to me the cards that I pulled earlier, the super moon card here on this super moon the new moon card and the first quarter moon card uh, really showing us just all the energy that is being pulled into this time period coming in for us to really step up with uh, what we're meant to do in our own world and for the world at large but they say you know don't let that overwhelm you just let it motivate you there's a lot to learn there's a lot to learn coming up there's a lot to experience there's a lot to sort out there's a lot to let go of there's a lot to shine the light on take out of the shadows and um you know slay the monster type of energy within us and with whatever is in our in our world that that we see and we feel that is um difficult for us to tackle they're showing us that we're just if we open up to the energy coming in and really tap into your body at this time see all of your chakras um, lit up and absorbing the energy coming in and again tapping into the energy of this full moon I'm seeing us all individually it's like we're in two places. So keep this formation, this understanding that it's like we're all together. We're all in rows, like a big classroom sitting next to each other. And in that classroom, we're going to get into meditation. So we're going to go down another layer. So from that classroom where we're all together, we're going to go down another, another level, another layer. Meditate from that point of view and then see ourselves feel all the energy first of all i'm being told feel the energy of those that are with you in this room hear their breath feel the warmth of their energy feel feel that that you're comfortable in this space feel that it's just what it feels like is you multiplied 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 with a little shift it's not you there are other people but you guys everybody is here in vibing in the same frequency so there's nothing feels off or uncomfortable so it's just the, so that's what i mean by kind of multiply your essence know that there are different people here besides you and it feels like a large amount of people and so just tap into just how good that feels it doesn't feel awkward or uncomfortable you don't have that 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 need to to leave being around a lot of people it just feels really nice 
and then from there get go down into a into the next level here we're going to dive deeper from here i want you to see yourself alone on a um on a hill a grass hill and there are trees all around you but you're you're kind of uh you're you had a you're up on a like an incline and there's trees that are kind of more below you um and you're kind of peeking up out of that and you're sitting right at the very very top of this hill so however you see that for yourself and somewhere down there not too far off in the distance is a source of water so however that feels to you whether it's a creek or a river or a pond or a lake or the ocean tap into this space right here it'll start coming into you but you are up on a hill there is grass around you it is um the perfect weather and it's the late afternoon and we're going to witness sun setting here just breathing easily here and i want you to see the sun setting see the clouds in the sky see how the sun lights up those beautiful clouds in all the different shades of gold and pinks and reds and yellows and see how everything shifts and changes as the moments go on and the sun starts to dip down further and further first everything gets richer and more saturated throughout the sky and you feel that energy reflecting from the clouds to you on your face your skin and just absorb those different frequencies bouncing off of the clouds and onto you from the sun through the clouds through the atmosphere through the air and <coughs> and to you <coughs> and absorb that energy And just see the sun slowly going down until no more. And the clouds um, go from bright and colorful to back to their, to being kind of um, just white or, or cast with shadow and kind of gray. Uh, but you can still see the clouds, of course, and just the sun getting further and further uh away and down it getting darker as the moon starts to really move through and just feel the time shift feel the energy shift and see the moon coming up and getting bigger and bigger and bigger right up ahead of us straight ahead of us lighting everything up around us and then right here i'm being told to ask the moon to show you the magic that is usually in the shadows or anything else that is hidden away from you. Ask the moon to show you 
the magic to light up your world and to see what you normally cannot see, to feel what you normally cannot feel, to put it all together and be in a new um, paradigm, a shift here coming in, asking for this to happen, being open for the magic to be seen by you, to be felt by you. So ask the moon and ask Gaia to light up your world, to send through the energies, through the very particles of, of air, through the water itself, through the earth, and to the fire within you that you are open to receiving, to seeing, to assimilating, to a magical world in which you see things that you normally do not see. To illuminate you, to connect you deeper, stronger, and more clearly to your soul and your guides and your guardians, your angelics, and your entire tribe the soul tribe that you're connected to and not only on the other side but here incarnate your soul family so it's like basically pushing a button or flipping a switch turning everything on so all of these connections, the, and it starts from you, and feel that in your body, feel that in your, in your entire system and, and energy body, feel it radiating out from you. It's an intent to connect, it's an intent to see and feel the magic within and without you upon Gaia through the atmosphere all the way to the moon beyond the moon connecting us to the other planets and our solar system family so just see yourself allowing this ripple of energy to just go out in a 360 this flipping switch, pushing button, pulling lever type of energy, however you want to see that, of you deciding, I am connected, I am present, I am a pillar of creation coming online in a whole new way, and everything I've done up until now is just and has been a setup for me to be in this divine right moment whenever it is that you're here. And see yourself there upon that hill. and create a pyramid around you of light so just like the a pyramid in egypt i'm seeing us sitting in a pyramid of light so four sides here have that point above your head by like a foot have it integrated with the hill that you're sitting on and like the this um oh like at the the four corners that you're sitting within light them up and see those lights at those four corners going straight down like lightning rods like these rods of light straight down into gaia and that light in that center that that center point above our head see that lighting up and going straight up up infinitely into creation connecting to and with anything and everything in, in your line here. And just imagine your brothers and sisters in their own very special places upon their hills 
as they sit in that big vast classroom and are deeper one level just like you and just see if you can get pictures of what they look like and where they are whatever you may see here connecting And again, seeing those four corners of light going straight down into Gaia. Pillar of light that you are connecting with Gaia. Light going straight up. Pillar of light going straight up. See and feel your energy just starting to stretch. Less in body, more in light. The saturation of your body, just let it go and just be light, sending this light down, sending this light up, infinitely, pillar of light, magical light, channel of light. And feel that infinite loop between you, your soul, your light, and all the magic around you. All the magic connected to you from the moon shining upon and illuminating everything, charging up the magic coming from Gaia, the heat and the energy coming from Gaia, and your channel of energy and light going through all the way through down into Gaia and then up. At the same time, knowing that your brothers are, and sisters are doing this. Light going down, light going up, stretching yourself beyond your body. Letting you feel that infinite loop. Feel that infinite loop going through, through you and out through you and back again in every direction. And connecting and back again and absorbing and see the light going through and into your very essence your soul your body your energy body lighting you up remember that button that lever that switch of intent see that happening on a cellular level within the body see this chain reaction of intent in the very molecules and cells of your body every layer physically every layer energetically having the intent to connect spiritually and putting this all together, just layer upon layer, body upon body, coming into alignment, energy of intent throughout the whole body, releasing fear, releasing doubt, Releasing judgment, releasing expectations for the future, just being open to receive with the intent that you are exactly where you're meant to be, that you're sending out this call through your energy and through your light to receive, to connect to the magic all around you, to be more in tune with Gaia, nature herself, and with the moon, and with the sun. 
and not only the realm in which we live in upon Gaia, but the others as well. <clears throat> Connecting to the souls in the other worlds within and upon Gaia and beyond. And then take your intention, your awareness, your perspective. And we're going to go down into Gaia. Just let yourself float into the actual earth of Gaia and see all the lines of light coming from everyone else. And, <clears throat> and see Gaia absorbing and pulling those, those lines of light in through her body and connecting them together through her, through her body, through her energy, through the abundance matrix, through the crystalline grid, amplifying these energies through her body so they may connect through her body to each other like a beautiful web web of light within her body connecting she's saying connecting my family together connecting those of you who are meant to work together to work with me to heal the energy within you, within the atmosphere, within the water, within the body. Your body and my body, Gaia is pointing to. We're all connected. We're all one. She's saying, she's pointing, she's saying, if your brothers and sisters are not 100% well, then you are not either. And to see the collective as a huge and really large extended family, not just your immediate family, but everyone in the collective. <clears throat> She, and she's showing me parts of her of the world that are just absolutely pristine and beautiful. Just beautiful places upon her body. She'd like you to do that. Pick up on these scenes she's showing to you. These beautiful pristine places upon her body. You've seen pictures. You've seen video of how beautiful they are. But then she says there's this in, in very intense contrast to places upon her body that are anything but pristine, anything but beautiful, anything but welcoming and, and high vibrational. And this is for various reasons. We don't want to get caught up in the details, but she's saying... Um, even for the pristine places, we have these these other places upon my body that need um, to be acknowledged and not ignored. And everything that is around it. And there needs to be more understanding and, and more unity to feel... Um, where it needs to be tended to and she says and that's the same thing with your body and your spirit and your energy that there's some amazing pristine places but there's some places that are really need of repair and attention and understanding and and love and care and the same goes for everybody else. And so we are all connected in this. She's saying we have different details to our stories. And everybody feels things differently. Everybody is affected differently. But um, at the same time, we have these very specific things that are universal within the family. 
And we need to start seeing ourselves more and more as this, this large extended family. And to put out the energy of healing and love to all, not just the ones you know, not just the places you go, not just, you know, what you want to see, but to feel all of this as one big whole. And you're just a piece of this one big whole of everything. And we have this saying around here, as we heal one, we heal all. So think about any time you get into meditation to connect, any time you do any type of healing, self-healing or, or um, healing with anybody, me or anybody else, that you're not only taking care of you, you're taking care of your family because when you're better, everybody is better. And that inspires other people to feel the vibration of intentionally making yourself feel better on whatever level and layer that is. And that just duplicates, it multiplies, it fractals out. But you have to have the intention. That's part of the magic. And this is the kind of magic that you just put out there very intentionally. And you just know that it's doing what it's meant to do. You don't need to have the, the evidence of what it is just know that it is for yourself and everybody else so just take a moment here to just have the intention of connection of being guided of feeling the energy of your angelics of your own body to release resistance to release apprehension to release the need to know and control and just to let yourself float like the particles that came into your body. Let yourself float to where you're meant to go. And seeing all these connections within Gaia and letting your essence go where she sends you. She says, you're part of this matrix, this energetic matrix within me as I am within you. And the least resistance, the least fear, the least amount of doubt and judgment and shame and ridicule and hurt, bad, angry um, feelings the easier you're going to be pulled exactly where you're meant to be. And you'll know that. You'll just know that. And everybody else will too. It's a chain reaction that's constantly happening. She's saying again, just feel into those infinite loops that you're connected to and the timelines you're connected to and the different layers of awareness that you can take yourself to as she's saying you're you've gone down to we're going down four levels here to going within Gaia to see this matrix of energy this pulsating energy coming to you and out of you and this like ebb and flow and each time feeling that pureness more and more and more and take yourself and let yourself be here and float here and know that you don't have to do anything except for allow for this to happen And the full moon energy coming in, permeating everything and soaking that in. Gaia is soaking that energy in through her body and down through her body into everything in our light, all connected within her body. This is really helping to um, maximize the energy and intent that we have. to let go of darkness and shadow and get in with the light to see 
the the mysteries, the little components of things that we may have missed or buried or put away and just allow for everything to um, be hit by the light and come up for us to be able to see in divine right timing. And to have the intention not to control, but to flow. And it takes a lot of strength to let yourself just flow and float and not to feel the need to control where exactly it is you're going or what exactly it is that's coming in to examine and to to um justify to put logic to whatever and just not see with those types of with those eyes to see how you're seeing now and and know that you're being guided to exactly where you're meant to be. She says, just be your energy. Just be your energy. Feel what that is. Feel what your energy is right now. And then she wants you to go and take your intention awareness to be back on that hill. Feel into, again, the pyramid that you're in. Feel the energies coming up from Gaia through the pyramid, charging you up through those four corners on the very top. Feel the energy going up. Sending that energy up. Again, pillar of light, charging up that energy. All around you. And feel that energy, the exchange of the energy of the pyramid coming to you, your energy going to it, and this back and forth exchange. Like breathe in, breathe out. But this is energy in and out, in and out. So your intent to connect with this energy coming from Gaia, being hit with the moon, being soaked into Gaia, Gaia taking that, pulling that through her body, connecting to all of our light that's being brought in and through Gaia, through the crystalline matrix of the abundance matrix that is within her, connected and being brought back up the this pillar of light from these four corners into your pyramid, soaking that up, Sending your energy back. No resistance, just this ebb and flow of energy. And then that energy mixing together within that, in that exchange. And also going straight up. Sending that line of light straight, straight up. And with intent to connect through time and space to all that is meant to come into your world, your field, your body, your mind, 
your awareness. Sending out those pulses of light that you're open, that you hit the button, pulled the lever, flipped the switch, all the way down to the cellular level, releasing densities and fears, releasing uh, any trepidation for not knowing, not being in control, and just letting it be, knowing you're loved and supported having felt that energy from the sun and the moon and from Gaia, feeling the vastness of your spirit tribe, all the way to those angelics that are with you always, your guardian miracle and healing angels. And then family from here on that hill within that pyramid. One more time, taking your intention to absorb the light and the energy coming up. To pull it into and through your being on every level and sending that energy straight up. And feeling the web of light and connection to all the souls in any uh, realm or dimension that you're connected to. Letting them all know that you have the intention to connect deeper, stronger. And through every level and layer of your being. From this point forward, and so be it, and so it is. Thank you, and grateful for this space. Now we're going to back up, and let's take you back up one level into that big, vast classroom where we're seated with each other here, feeling into that energy without knowing anybody, without having details, just feeling the happiness and joy, the contentment, that bliss energy that everybody felt. You can feel the shift around you and everybody in this space. And just hold out your hands and send from your left and your right hand in both directions to connect with your brothers and sisters that are sitting next to you, sending love and light, peace, joy, and healing, connecting. And it's like seeing this rope and this cord of light just looping through everybody, just going. It's like goes through the left hand and like goes through your body loops in the center and goes out your right hand to the next person through their arms it loops in the center and then out their right hand it just keeps doing that so just tap into this pure love and light sending out to your brothers and sisters that are with you And then at the count of three, release and put your hands back in your lap. One, two, and three. And just let the energy that came in and through you just feel that charging your body, your soul, your spirit, your mind, your very essence, sending that pulse of light up and to and through your soul 
pulling down another wall of blockages and resistance and doubts and fear and just coming in closer and stronger. And then up one more layer. Let's leave this classroom. Let's get back into your body. So let that fade away. Let's ride the elevator up, letting that go, getting back into your body. Back here in what we call the real world. Let your body and your mind and your energy assimilate back here as we travel down pretty deep and through these beautiful spaces and layers and connections with Gaia, the moon, and the sun, and each other, and our spirit tribe, guides and guardians, angelics, and everyone in between back to your body just feeling that energy all around you supple and warm caring and loving just take a moment here to thank your guardian miracle and healing angels to help create this space and this energy i want to thank you for being guided here to do this work today. I want to wish you a happy full moon here on June 24th, 2021. Whenever it is that you connected to this space and time, I want to thank you for being guided here. And remember, you can come back to this meditation, this traveling at any time. being guided to just tell you to uh, stay here in this space for at least a couple minutes and and to see yourself in this bubble of energy um, permeating and bringing in this energy this was real energetic work that we did here move slowly you might be a little lightheaded a little tired feeling a little loosey-goosey a little um maybe a little loopy, just move slowly, drink water, rest, follow your guidance. And whenever it is a space and time that you can look at and absorb moon energy, whatever phase she happens to be at, do it as soon as you can today or tomorrow, whenever makes sense. Um, And aside from that, just always connecting with Mother Gaia. Thank you again to everybody here. Um, Mother Gaia for leading the way as always. Thank you for um, this constant uh, motivation to move forward, to connect and to love ourselves and each other and connect and to love and understand you, dear Mother Gaia. And with that said, beautiful ones, I wish you uh, a beautiful rest of your day, your evening and into the future. Until next time, bye for now.